Hi guys and welcome back. This is the third locomotive of the day. Hopefully not the last because I have actually ordered something. It should be here today. Uh, so time will tell if that turns up. But, okay, so this is the third locomotive that I bought on Mark's Models. Uh, it is, of course, as you can see, a standard four. And this was a proper Backman branch line locomotive. It wasn't a mainline railways. It was a Backman. And got it home and I tried to test it. Uh, when I did the other two reviews, it didn't seem to work. It was constantly short-circuiting. So I got the body off, looked, and found that the, the solder joint where the capacitors are was soldered directly to the top of the motor housing. And that was what was causing the short circuit. So unsoldered that, bent the thing out of the way so it wasn't touching, and it works. However, there is one small problem. That when it's stationary and you're running a current through it, it starts to smoke on the brush end. So you've got your motor, you've got your armature that goes roughly here over your gear train. Back here, you've got two brushes which touch a very tiny commutator. And if when you run a current through it, it very faintly starts to smoke. Once it's running, it's fine. Um, the commutator looks relatively clean, so I don't know what's going on there. The coils look okay, so I don't think the motor's fully, fully kaput. So if anyone can explain what's going on there then please do, by all means let me know but it does now work i've tested it frivolously so now it plugs in oh, wrong way time will tell how long this holds up but yeah look at that i have a working for mt no i don't yeah, I've been meaning to clean that, but at least we know it's only that. She's performing all right now, he says. Good looking locomotive, isn't it? So where's the dead spot ruffling there? I'm gonna do it now. Right, how's that for you go? Much better. Just really make sure it's clean. clean keep your tracks clean, guys. Ah, oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! Finally, I've got a 4MT that works. Then bring her into a stop and quickly unhook the power so that then she doesn't end up smoking. So there we go. So those are the three locomotives that I picked up from Mark's Models. In total, I spent... Yeah, that much. You put those numbers together. Yeah, it was quite a bit. Uh, this one cost me 99 quid. It was the cheapest of the three. Um, it was in the kind of pre-owned section. It was, it still had its box. And actually, I believe we've got the thing, the code on the top. So for future me, even though I probably don't need it, yeah, here it is. So there's that one. So that's the code for this. So yeah, I just need to sort out what's going on on the armature end, uh, not the armature end, the brush end, because again, like I said, you've got your motor roughly here, and then the armature comes out here with your your skew wound on there, which goes into your gear train to come down into your wheels, and that's what makes that happen. And then on this side, you've got basically two brushes which touch a very small commutator, kind of like that. Now that I've got this, I am actually wondering one thing. Now, my old four, uh, standard four, 
That was being a bit weird. You could run a current through it, but it wouldn't go. So I'm wondering if... Maybe the same thing applies there, even though it's a different kind of locomotive. I'll have a look anyway. But at least now I finally have a four... Uh, standard for a 4MT, whatever you call these things. Um... At least now I have one, and I'm up three locomotives, so I'm happy. And hopefully, uh, if you guys stay tuned, there should be another locomotive arriving today from Hattons. So stay tuned for that. Until then, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, stay safe, and thanks for watching.